before we get into the video, you guys, Black Friday is coming up. And guess what? That's right. We're going to be doing discounts on Black Friday all the way from Friday, of course, all the way to Sunday. So it's a three-day event, gooseperformance.com. We're going to be doing discounts on swag, of course, and parts. So if you guys have been waiting to buy those goodies, those parts, stick them underneath the tree for someone special maybe, check out gooseperformance.com. Once again, Black Friday. Don't miss out. Gooseperformance.com. If you have not subscribed yet, do me a favor, subscribe. Uh, you're gonna, I'm not gonna want to miss this. I'm Goose, by the way, if you guys are new. Um, let's just say this week didn't start out on a good note. Didn't start out very good. Um, we worked like all week on the car. And then I also worked all week on trying to do a new diffuser Flunt splitter for this thing, you should you, whatever you want to call it, air dam to help us out in the higher speeds and stuff like that. And this is how that went. Yeah, as you can see, not a good, not a good place to start. My fault, totally my fault. I was trying to load the car by myself. We worked all week on that thing and we ruined it like that on Sunday. We we're on our way to go do some testing and just like that, it was destroyed. It was mangled and then long story short, I tried to make another one like literally the day of SEMA, like quick something, whatever with scrap aluminum I had lying around, but yeah. Um, yeah, so that's how that started. The fenders are all screwed up too now, um, but let me show you the rest of the week because it started off crappy and it definitely ended with the bang what is up everybody welcome back to the channel SEMO we finally made it guys we got the car in here we had a bunch of technical difficulties we had leaks all the above I, I ruined the splitter I'll show you guys later we'll talk about that in a different video but it is day two um I didn't record anything yesterday because it was really just trying to get the car set up um, we did do D&E for uh, Optima, of course, for the engineering and design. If you guys don't know what that is, basically they come around, check out the car, you get a score on that stuff. But we are gonna be running, I wanna say the speed stop um, challenge or basically a drag race down and back. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully the car stays in one piece. We did have an issue with that clutch master cylinder. So we had to leave, we had to rebuild it real quick. Justin, I appreciate you, man. If you're watching, he came through like literally the night before and redid that thing for us, helped us out. But we're gonna walk around, see what's good, see what we can get into, not to mention race. We got to set up, but I'll see you guys in a bit. there bro a little burr uh, i never drink dog so it's beer 30 you guys you guys saw that last footage we just did on the start start stop challenge speed stop challenge whatever it's called um 
kind of blew right through the cones. Didn't really do much. Um, traction, none whatsoever. Cold brakes, cold tires, you name it. No traction whatsoever. Not to mention just locked up the brakes. ABS, these guys are running ABS out here. Tell me about the advantage, ABS. We might, we might have to just, should we guys, guys, should we tear apart the LSX Frankenstein and make it an actual like true competitor because the car is twin turbo obviously it's it's overpowering the track um and it's heavy like the whole front end is super heavy the car is four thousand pounds um yeah it might be time I don't know you tell me but that is um the day we'll be back tomorrow we're gonna be running the speed stop challenge once again hopefully I can redeem myself tomorrow we'll see but I'll see you guys in the morning because it's beer 30. So Goose is out here. Let's see. I think Goose Goose has, is on the board. He's got a 37 152, but that's not where he wants to be. There's a lot of room for improvement for Goose. He's got all the power. He's just got to use it. See if he can get up. He's got a lot of rear brake in that car. That's gonna hurt him. A lot of these guys will think that a lot of rear brake will be faster and it just, if you get too much, you just can't stop without the back of the car coming around. So the margins in the Peak Performance Challenge are razor thin. David Yaden on the line now in that 84 Camaro with a 34.26. Later that night. Zima! Zima Award Banquet, you guys are, you guys can hear me, but check it out. Pretty crazy. I mean, pretty freaking cool. We'll see you guys in a bit. Seven fifty-nine a.m. What is up, everybody? It is Friday. We finally made it to Friday, man. We we did better yesterday out on the stop-start challenge. Um, we didn't do great at the end of the day. Either way, the thing cannot get it to stop between the cones. You'll see the video. You'll see the video. But like I said, it is Friday. We're gonna be running the autocross today. Hopefully, you guys will check that out. Um, hopefully, we're not eating cones. Girl, aren't you supposed to be in school, girl? What you doing over here? <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit.
23.7, not sure if that's an improvement, but the lap looked better. 20.810 is the fast time of the day. That's a Tesla Model 3 piloted by John Bickford. Top 10, Dave Schatz is 10th with the 20. hours later. We made it, y'all. We made it. Well, most of us made it. Getting loaded up into the track for tomorrow is going to be over there. Sun going down, looking pretty good. I think we're going to close the video here. Maybe start it back up tomorrow, you guys. Um, I'm tired, thirsty. Senya, what are we eating, dude? Food. We need food. We need water, too. the last day it is saturday at uh las vegas motor speedway i'm excited nervous all at the same time we're strapped in we got 
most of our gear on we're actually going to do orientation laps first just to get a little familiar with the track nothing crazy nothing high speed probably won't record and then you're in a certain group and then once your group is up or i should say it's time for you guys to hit the track hot track we'll go and do that baby but fingers crossed we just want to finish the day uh with the car in one piece and of course me of course but i'll see you guys in a bit that I'm not sure if I came in too hot into that corner or the tires were just getting greasy and decided to just kind of go on a cool down lap after that
this second session I really didn't record much but um I went out there and there was just a lot of errors a lot of people were kind of going off the track there was just too much going on so I decided to just kind of go out there and just get one good lap and come off um that blue truck you guys can see in front of me definitely had gone off a couple times got brought in and basically told them to slow down or he's done for the day but um yeah no not to mention i heard a little something in the front right wheel or something was going on so better to be safe than sorry just to pull off nothing i just wanted to get just one good lap that's it there's none that sense to push it you only count one lap and after that it's like hot and everything and i also got some weird noise up front in the wheel this is the last session of the weekend for us for this group that i was in and you already know we're gonna push it we're gonna try to get our times down everyone's doing the same thing i decided to do the same thing but you guys saw i mean the entire video you can kind of see the car shake quite a bit when i'm coming into like braking zones or turns and i had a lot of rear brake in the car it just was upsetting the car this entire week and you can just see the car just flinch uh, get upset all the above and i just didn't have any confidence or i should say in slamming on the brakes and not completely the rear brake just you know upsetting the back of the car and making me spin out and everything else and not to mention not carry enough speed through certain corners turns or even build up a lot of speed on the straightaways because i know i gotta slam on the brakes it just was super sketchy um actually after we rebuilt the calipers last week we put those knockback springs that they definitely made a huge difference but we ran out of time to really dial in the brakes we did as much as we can we dialed them in as much as we can with the time we had we literally had maybe one day of trying to do testing and miss some you know fixing everything else but you can just see this entire run like just the brakes are just not happy the car is just not happy and i kept pushing it through through each corner trying to get a little faster here a little faster there and it just was not working
So in the beginning of the day in the driver's meeting, they really emphasize in if you got any issues with the car or, of course, a fire or something like that, get out of the car quick, you even do a safety drill test and all that. And they want you to just get away from the car and let the track workers do their thing. But in this moment, I really, it took a lot for me, a lot of restraint for me to just not go see what's wrong with the car, like make sure it wasn't on fire. And the only reason I did not go, and I had a small fire extinguisher in the car, of course, but I didn't see any flames. So luckily, yeah. Well, you said you wanted to go in, eh? Remember? Fucking kidding me, dude? Now you need a block. Uh... <laughs> How many windows are in there, Frankie? <laughs> Fucking bitch. Oh, so she wrote. Yeah, um, pretty much. I mean, uh, there's metal shavings or pieces all over the track. Um, we blew the engine, long story short. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was just the abuse over time or what or just just hammering this freaking thing just non-stop probably staying in those high rpms try not to shift very often when you're coming into corners i don't know we never got any crazy lights on the dash or anything low oil pressure or anything like that um i don't know i don't i don't have an answer um i do have a hole at the bottom of my oil pan, that's for sure. Um, like we talked about earlier, we talked about going NA possibly, right? But I did not want to go NA like this. Like this is not what I had in mind. Um, it is a couple of days later. Um, I moved the car to the back. I haven't even looked at it. Um, we did kind of throw it on the lift just to shuffle some cars around in the back and definitely a big old gaping hole in the oil pan. Um, I don't know when I'll get to it. I don't know what to do at this point. It is super disappointing, I guess you can say, right? Uh, just cause we had some plans, like we wanted to get faster. We wanted to make the car lighter, right? But not like this. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a blow, it's definitely a setback. And we've got a couple other things in the works for the upcoming year as well, you guys. So hang on and stick with me. If you guys are still watching, if you guys are my OGs to the channel, but I'm not gonna lie, it hurt. It definitely hurt seeing Frankenstein go out like that. It literally was the last event of the week, of the weekend, literally the last pass of Saturday, being out on the big track. Um, but we definitely need to go faster. We need to get lighter. Uh, yeah, a lot. Uh, I don't even know what we want to do with that car as far as the build goes. Keep on keeping on with that car. You guys let me know. Put it down in the comments below. Um, yeah, I I also have a something to admit too. Uh, it is my first. That is my first ever like destroyed engine, blown engine I have ever um, self-inflicted i guess we did it i mean first car was kind of like that but we bought it like that but yeah that's actually our technically our first first blown engine like that we self-destructed whatever you want to call it full send i don't know but um hopefully you guys enjoyed the video it was a hell of a weekend um big shout out to optima batteries and everyone who helped out at the track and and everything else um it was it was a pretty epic week not to even mention Ron's Ron Scott. I don't know if you're watching this or not. He helped us literally tow it to the finish line, however you want to call it. Um, they do this big old group picture at the end, like for the ultimate uh, streetcar invitational only, like once a year. And obviously you got to be there to, to qualify. You got to make it through everything. They do this huge picture. Um, I'll try to post it somewhere around here. Um, but we weren't gonna make the picture. We weren't gonna make the final cut because we broke down we were in the pits and Ron Scott just said, dude, 
let's get this thing over there whatever we got to do we got to tow it we got to push it you're going to be in the photo you're going to be in the shot and that's just phenomenal to me it just that stuck with me like that's huge that's huge i appreciate that um but perseverance really right it's what we got to do so we'll see we'll see what's next but do me a favor hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and hit the bell for notification you guys already know stay wrenching